Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since the last time I made my video. Honestly, I think it was like four or five years ago and as you can see, a lot of things has changed. This is an update, a life update about everything that I've done so far and most of the milestones, achievements happened in the year 2022. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys an update and catch you up with how life is treating me this time around. <laughs> I'm still very much awkward and trying to get comfortable talking to the camera. But here I am sitting in my content room, which is so crazy to say out loud um, because... Just last year, I was still living in my mom's house, sharing a room with my sister. That's one of the biggest life update is Omar and I finally got our first home and it's beautiful. It's perfect. Everything we could have wished for and dreamt for is here within these walls. So that's very exciting. A lot of things are not furnished which is totally fine. We agreed on waiting until we found the right pieces, like furniture pieces. Um, everything you see here behind me has been in my previous room that I shared with my sister, so it looks so small compared to this giant room. <laughs> the next big life update I wanted to share with you guys is actually my fitness and wellness journey. It's been a year and a few days since I committed and showed up for myself every single day. I decided to hire a trainer, which she's so amazing. I highly recommend everyone who lives in Vegas and is looking for a trainer that will kick your absolute butt. Her name is Yulia and I'll link her um, socials down below but i highly 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 recommend her she's one of like the biggest most positive impacts in my life in the year 2022 and i'm just really glad to have someone like her in my life the beginning of my weight loss and fitness journey i was weighing around 165 pounds um and currently i am a hundred and 30 pounds. I do fluctuate my lowest that I am 127. So what propelled me to make that big life decision actually was because of my reoccurring life crisis that I have every like five years or so for the entirety of my life. Honestly, I was at rock bottom and the only way I saw was up, like as cliche as that sounded, I wanted my life to change. The turning point was that email that I sent to Yulia. Honestly, we've been communicating back and forth already that night and it was set that I was going to meet her the next morning. I think I had like cold feet because for a split second, I remember like typing already a whole paragraph explaining not even explaining but i was typing excuses right i was putting oh no sorry actually i don't want to waste your time i decided i'm not ready yet like i'm not ready to commit to this i was about to send that when for a split second there was a thought in my head that said wait what if everything works out <laughs> And girl, I deleted that so quick and I said, yes, I'll see you tomorrow, 8 a.m. at LVAC da -da -da location. And I never turned back, like I never looked back. That's so crazy, isn't it? Just a single instant in your life. Oh, I'm getting like kind of emotional because it's been so like, fast paced but at the same time some days were like hard because you weren't seeing any like progress but I think 
me sitting down here and like talking about it well, I realized I did that like girl she put in the work <laughs> yeah I'm just really proud of myself for doing that I guess and so when I turned 30 back in September I was able to fit the one pair of jeans I own in a crop top satin blouse that I never would thought I would be comfortable wearing like girl who is she you know 30 flirty and thriving that was that was me it just took 30 years to finally start living the life that I've always dreamt about it's never too late to start something that you have passion for and I guess if I inspire one person that's so amazing I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> but I've decided that I'm gonna give this a go and this is a life that I want to make for myself so here we are I'm gonna take you guys along on this journey <laughs> So I've decided, I'm looking at my calendar, I'm going to show you real quickly. I bought this recently because this is how serious I am. I'm going to show you real quickly. Ah! So, for vlogging, I'm going to do my absolute best because I'm putting a lot of work load on myself. And you know, I don't want to burn out real quickly. I'm going to do a vlog once a week. And this upcoming week, there's actually a lot of things that's, a lot of exciting things that are happening. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing well. It's 2023, so it's another opportunity for us to learn and grow and start living the life we want. If you could comment down below some of your bigger new year goals that I think that would be nice I also want to share that I'm taking you guys as well this Monday I'm actually hosting an event with a dear friend of mine and it's a vision board party so um, let me grab it real quick this is a vision board that I made last year holy caca balls I want to say 90% of this came true girl except for the Chanel bag but I have a Chanel paper bag which I think it counts because <laughs> I didn't specify which bag I have a Chanel paper bag that's a step in the right direction right but everything here like most of it is I put pictures of interior design because of how I wanted my home to feel like like boho, beige, white, wood, accent, she's a vibe. I kind of put in um, a beautiful picture of a kitchen and my kitchen now is everything I've ever dreamed about. It's gorgeous to say the least. Bathroom, the tub. I have a bathtub, y'all. I never, ever, ever, ever would have imagined that I would have a bathtub. The big, the big one is up here. It says, I'm still learning to love me, which is a everyday thing, obviously. Still doing that. <laughs> and it says, you made it. I put this picture of this girl with her mind all scribbled, scribbled, scribbled. That used to be me. I wouldn't say so much nowadays. You know, working on myself and showing up for myself. It changes when you like talk to yourself differently like in your mind it really helps a lot to like positive thinking and yeah if you say you can do something in your head girl you can do it and I have um, a picture of a cookbook here which I haven't done much baking to be honest since I moved in here I think I got very intimidated by my oven um, quick story time I tried to bake macarons twice and for those of you who know how to bake macarons 
girl, tell me your secret. But I think, because there's like 99.9% <laughs> of things going wrong when you make macarons, like humidity, if you over whipped your, you know, your batter, the temperature of the, obviously the oven, but there's just so many things that could go wrong. Anyways, I baked it twice and I wasted at least three hours. You want like to feel broken and disappointed inside try baking macarons. Um, I think that discouraged me for a little bit into baking, but I have put here in my calendar that I need to bake at least once a week for content. So I'm going to do my absolute best in delivering that. This one I've been um, trying to focus on doing more consistently is setting myself up for success every morning. My ideal morning, I'm just gonna say it out there, put it out there in the universe, manifest, but obviously I gotta do the work, right? So I would like to wake up early enough to be able to first walk my dog. I would love to walk him. Um, well, actually, if I wake up early enough, so this is what my dilemma is. If I wake up super early, it's still dark outside, so I can't go walk him yet. So then, what I would preferably do is wake up around 6, be at the gym by like 6.30 till 7.30, a good solid hour. My trainer, if you're watching this, I know she says I need at least an hour and a half, so I'm going to try for cardio on the last uh, 30 minutes, but... That's the timeline, is to wake up, go to the gym, finish a good session by myself, come home, walk Kiko around the block. We usually do around 30 minutes, so like around the neighborhood, and then we go to our small park and we go around like 10 times. And then oh, while reading the book, I think I find that very... I like it actually. I mean, it's weird because I have motion sickness and I'm like walking my dog and I'm like reading but I think I like it so I'm gonna keep doing that after that I would like to come home and shower so that way my hair can dry while I make my breakfast and then make my lunch that I have to bring for work and then get ready so like put on my makeup here and do, do my hair I've never had time to do my hair ever so I'm putting that out there. I would like to film two reels, but you know, one is good because it's a jam packed morning and head out the door an hour before I have to go to work. So that's my morning routine that I would like to start accomplishing starting tomorrow. I do want to say that I have been accomplishing it not all all of it completely but like one morning I'll do like 80% of it the next morning I'll do more than what I did the next day and then one morning I'd be like I think my body's saying I need a rest so then I would rest that's it for this part of the vlog I'll see you guys Tomorrow. Ah! I'm done.